reference to your meeting again. So uh, you want to refer or want to make note of immediate rewards versus later rewards for teens. So if you say, what was the example in the book? It was like, if you do this drug, you'll get off the, you'll get kicked off the high school basketball team tomorrow if they find out. Versus it'll mess up your brain for life and you might stunt your, you know, intellectual growth. That's not going to work. They want to know, they only care that they're going to get kicked off of the high school basketball team. Another one is let teens make mistakes. Telling them probably won't work. They have to learn from them. Themselves. Who here has been told really great advice and disregarded it and then made a mistake and was like, oh, I, that would have been avoided if I just listened to such and such together. Everybody. Everybody has made this mistake. Help provide structure and organized time. So, you know, give a little structure, make a daily calendar, that helps. Guide them through tough decisions even when they resist. So I guess that's telling you to let them make mistakes, but kind of guide them through it through organization structure. And be patient. Okay, here's my brain structure slide again. This will help you put some concrete visualization to what I was talking about. This is the amygdala, so this is what I was talking about. In, you don't need to type notes for the test. I just think it's interesting, so that's why I'm showing you it. Um, this is the amygdala. This is the one that was responsible for the rewards, um, emotions, making those decisions. Um, this is the gyrus. I think that's responsible for some of that, too. The hippocampus in there? Yep, the hippocampus is right here. That's responsible for making memories and uh, putting things from short term to long term. And this was your, I know it's not labeled, but that's your frontal cortex or your prefrontal cortex, which is really responsible for all that um, decision making and planning and that sort of skills. And that doesn't develop until later, and that's why teens are so bad at making decisions or why researchers think they are at least. Okay, so we're gonna get to our groups. Disregard this, I should have deleted that. So uh, split in half, go, this half can be the uh, against death penalty half, and this half will be the pro death penalty half. I just want to reiterate or at least emphasize that we're not talking about a specific case, we're just saying why it should be on the table, so we're not sentencing any hypothetical team to death, we're just saying why it's something that we should think about. Um, our debate format will be 90 seconds for an argument, so each side will get an argument. Then 60 seconds for a direct rebuttal, so each side will get a rebuttal. Then we'll get 90 seconds for a second argument, and then another 60 seconds for a second rebuttal. So kind of plan that. Chris will be helping the against, against uh, death penalty side, and I will be helping the pro death penalty side. So let's have about 20 minutes to prep and talk. I really want you to learn or use what you learn for your readings. Feel free to use your computers if you have any to Google stuff. That is my own email. So. Okay. Oh yeah, we need a jury. Who wants to be on the jury? So who wants to say, Nancy? You two? Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. You guys will be on the jury. You guys can sit in on either side as you please, but you guys will be listening to the um, arguments, and then you'll say, hey, I agree with this side or this side or this side or this side did a better job of explaining their, their uh, points. June, can we have some gender diversity on the... On the this is good. I don't think everyone's split up yet. I'm Go talking on to your, the jury. Oh, on the jury? Oh. <laughs> it's too big. Um, all right, so if you are against you on my side, also, can everybody pass their homework on
everybody understand exactly what we're talking about? Basically, we're kids. We're talking about kids. Basically, before the age of 18 or less. Okay. Do we want these people to be able to get the death penalty or not? Of course, depending on the act. We can pretty much go wherever you want to go with this. We have all these arguments we can talk about here. We can take the other level. We can take it to religion. We can take it to start talking about law. Whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you can come up with, you want to win. So, good reason, of course, that has to be sound decision. You got to come up with some good feedback for it. Don't just come up with something just because of how you feel. Even though feeling is good, you got to back it up with something. Otherwise, you're going to finish So, um, basically, um, let's start. I know we're being over, so. I was thinking like this, it kind of splits the groups. And we can get like argument A, argument B. You want to take that? Yeah, because they had a really good point when they probably shouldn't be listening to either side. Okay, so I will correct Okay, so. I guess since you guys are away. Let's just pronounce these all together. What are some basic arguments? Stop putting you together. What are some basic reasons why 18 year olds should not be given away? Well, here's the um, review of the books, I think it has been highlighted, I think you have your eye on that. So kind of going over, uh, I guess, what you think is important on either side, you take down knowing either side, I'm going to see what points they hit. Yeah, a lot of the reading backs that up. So, kind of so that part, of, I guess that would be our first argument to build off of. What's the second argument? Generally, when we end up today, or second or third argument, I'm not sure if it's the third round, but the second or third argument is usually the third round.
could be there could be a difference between you know just fooling around and making irrational decisions um, like through through uh, puberty rather than actually murdering someone. Yeah. So they're talking about the severity of things to make decisions that So like a, a silly irrational decision leading to leading to murder like through accident or actual or actually like I. I don't think that usually constitutes death penalty, whereas in violent murder and, uh, and uh, like say, like cold-blooded and, and premeditated, that's usually what constitutes death penalty. So you're saying it's not premeditated, most likely would not be that. Uh, that's the way I was led to believe, but it, it could be. It could be. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. That's how it seems on your case and whatnot. Okay, let's do how much time do we have? Say it's a violation of the Eighth Amendment. We'll say it Say it again. Cruel and unusual Why is that cruel and unusual? Because we do it to people over 18. Yeah. Because Let's go with. We got brain development, hormonal biological issues, economics, and. Did we say a fourth one, John? The amendment? Just an ethical thing in general. It could be a third. Let's, let's, let's call that ethics and ethics and law. So I have four groups. I'm going to switch down to the four groups. And then I want you all to each come up with our supporting argument for that. So when your turn comes up, we can do our thing. The other thing is this, I already kind of have in mind, when I give you your topics or four categories, I already kind of have in mind what the, you know, the kind of that is. So that, therefore, when they come up with their arguments, you already have an idea of what you're going to say. Okay, because remember we have our counterpoint. Our counterpoint could be something completely different than what they're going to do. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, our points could be something completely different from their major so points. So therefore, our counterpoints to theirs could be something we're not debating, that we're not preparing for. So, think about the cons of yours, which may kind of open the way to thinking about whatever they may be coming up with. Does that make sense? Okay. So, do you guys care which four groups you in? You want to just put you in there? Okay. So, you right here, you do the first one, which is um, brain development. Um... You four right here, you do the second one, which is 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 the second one,